practice exercise 4 of time speed distance funda book let's go through the questions question 1 golu and mayank start running simultaneously golu runs from point a to b and mayank from point b to a so mayank goes from b to a golu speed is 6 by 5 of mayank speed after crossing mayank golu takes 2 and a half hours to reach b how much time does mayank take to reach a after crossing golu Let's draw a schematic diagram to understand this question. Point A and point B. Golu is going from point A to B and Mayank is going from point B to A. Ratio of speeds of Golu to Mayank is 6 upon 5. That's the data which is given out here. Next it says after crossing Mayank Golu takes two and a half hours to reach B. So let us assume Golu and Mayan cross each other at this point. This distance is covered by Golu in two and a half hours. So the question is how much time will Mayan take to reach his destination after crossing or how much time will be taken to cover this distance. Okay. Now most of you will solve this question very comfortably using a formula that the ratio of speeds of Golu and Mayan should be inversely proportional to the time taken by them after they meet each other or after they cross each other. Okay. Now the question tells us that the speed of Golu is to speed of Mayank is 6 by 5. This should be equal to time taken by Mayank to reach his destination after crossing is what we need to find upon time taken by Golu is uh, 5 by 2 or 2.5 hours. Which implies if we square both these sides, we will get 36 by 25 should be equal to Tm upon 2.5. Which lies time taken by Mayank, which is this time, time taken by Mayank to reach his destination after crossing should be 36 by 25 into 2.5. I write it as 5 by 2. 5 is 25, which is 36 by 10. So time taken will be 3.5. 6 hours which is nothing but 3 hours and 36 minutes. 60% of an hour is 36 minutes. So among the choices, correct answer is choice D. This is one simple way of doing the question if you remember the formula. But actually you did not need the formula also to do this question. Let me erase the slide and give you an alternate method of solving this question without the formula. Okay, let's have a look at this question again. The data is already there. Let me add a little bit more to this thing. When Golu and Mayank meet, what is the distance each one of them have covered? We know that speed is proportional to distance. So if the ratio of speed is 6 is to 5, the distance covered by them also will be in the same ratio. So I can say the distance, the ratio of distance will also be 6 is to 5. Or when they are meeting, the point of meeting is 6 units from A and 5 units from B. Why? Because the ratio of speeds of Golu and Mayank is 6 to 5. So when they are meeting, the distance covered by them will also be in the same ratio. Or this distance A to the point of meeting is 6 units. Then B to the point of meeting, meeting should be 5 units. The second thing which we all know is speed is inversely proportional to time. Okay. So we'll use these two things to get to the answer. Now Golu took 2 and a half hours. Golu has taken two and a half hours to cover this distance from B to the point of meeting. But this was five minutes. So how much time did Golu take to cover this distance? The time taken by Golu to cover this distance would have been Golu would have taken five by two into six by five. Why six by five? Because the distance has become six by five. So the time taken should also become six by five. So Golu would take 5 by 2 into 6 by 5 hours to cover this distance. But how much time will Mayan take to cover this distance? The time is, time, speed is inversely proportional to time. Since the ratio of speeds of Golu to Mayan is 6 is to 5, the time taken should be in the, the time taken should be in the reverse ratio. Which means that if Golu has taken 5 by 2 into 6 by 5 hours to cover this particular distance. Then Mayank will take another into 6 by 5. Okay. 
Why into 6 by 5? Because the time taken will increase because Mayank has a speed which is lower than Golu. So in a way, all I am doing is applying the famous chain rule which you use for time speed, time and work. Okay. What does this give us? This will again give us something similar. 5 goes out here. 2, 3 is a 6 which is 18 by 5 which is nothing but 3.6 hours or 3 hours and 36 minutes. Okay. So you could have straight away done this question without the formula but if you remember the formula that is the preferred thing to do. Uh, that is the preferred thing to use because it will take lesser amount of time for most of you.